I love you, but I will not allow you to kill me. Using their penis and bringing it home like a loaded weapon to you and you just cock open your legs and allow him to come inside. Hello knockouts, Tanya TKO here and I have a treat. Oh, I'm so excited about today's video because in the last video we followed up on that whole Idris Elba situation. And I couldn't wait to get into this video so that we can show you how Oprah handled a similar situation. Oh, listen. Oh, come and hear me. Let me give my intros. I am Tanya TKO, and I am a life coach and self-love specialist. I am the author of the book of affirmation, Self-Love, which you can find right now on Amazon. This is a very quick, easy, and very deep diving book that makes affirmations fun to rewrite your whole subconscious programming and reattune you for self-love and abundance in your life. Listen, on this channel, we talk about what self-loving looks like for black women in relationships. And we react to viral topics to make them teachable moments. Oh, I can't wait to show you all this Oprah so listen, buckle up, knockouts. Buckle up. Let's jump right into this. Oprah was talking with uh, somebody who works for her magazine. So she was on an Instagram live. And let's listen to how Oprah handled it. <laughs> let's listen. When Stedman came back from a trip. Uh, let's listen. Let's listen. Where is Stedman? Stedman is um, at the guest house because... Um, you all know I had pneumonia earlier, late last year. And you can right, still right. hear the raspiness in my throat sometimes when I talk. And um, I had just gotten off of antibiotics last week because I had like a, an, a bronchial infection. And so Stedman was late to the party, understanding. Oh, uh, he's one of those. One of those. One of those. Yeah, Stedman was one of those going. I don't see what everybody's getting so upset about. Oh, Stedman, it's been all fear-based. This is fear-based <laughs> future. That's what Stedman <laughs> was saying. That's and why he's at the guest house. And Stedman, and that's why Stedman's at the guest house because <laughs> because because Stedman did not arrive from Chicago, y'all, until Thursday. And so he had been speaking in St. Louis on Saturday. He'd been on planes. He'd been on all this. And I was like, um, so Stedman's like, what's the procedure for coming home? The procedure is. <laughs> the procedure is you going in the guest house. The procedure is you ain't coming and sleeping in my bed. <laughs> and literally, literally, Ariana, he goes, I'm not. I go, oh, no, 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 no. Um, it doesn't work that way. Have you not been paying attention to the news? I, I, social distancing doesn't mean you're going to go sleep in the bed with the person <laughs> when, you, when you have just got off American Airlines. No, 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 not. And you just had pneumonia. No, you can't. You can't play those games. No, <laughs> we cannot play those games. So we're taking it very seriously. I'll send you some video. I walk by the guest house. I leave food at the door. On the, on the doorstep? I leave Listen. food on the doorstep. <laughs> I am the exact opposite of... Okay, so listen, let me pause this real quick because there's other stuff that we need to jump into. There's other stuff we need to jump into. All right, listen. How does a black woman behave when she loves herself in relationship? What boundaries does she set up? And unlike in the Idris situation, right? You know, I didn't check Oprah and Stedman's age. I don't, I don't think it's relevant at this point because I'm sure they're pretty close in age, but we know the power dynamic and where the power lies, who makes the money in that relationship. It's like when you have an empire and the person who runs the empire, that their presence is required for this said empire, how does the partner of that behave? So we talked in the last video about Davido and Chioma and how Chioma is in isolation. If you haven't seen that video, make sure that you go see it, right? But then in this situation, when Oprah is the one with the power and the money, how is it handled? How is she able to put her foot down? How is she able to advocate for herself? How is she able to set boundaries, self-loving boundaries and be like, listen, I love myself and in order for you to demonstrate said love as well, this is what it is that you need to do. 
How do you think that situation would have been different if Oprah was the one who was the spouse of a very powerful and wealthy person? And she was like, you know what? You, you can't, you cannot come into this bed. How do you think things would be different? How do you think things would have been different if Idris's wife was like, no, you know what? You can't, you, you can't come into this bed, Idris. He said that he loved her more. Go and listen to the video. He said he loved her more for risking his life for him. I just, if of all the selfish, just, just come on. Let's let's jump into the next video that Oprah put up to 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 treat us with. <laughs> and let's listen to this. Here we go. Here we go. How you doing? Meals are dropped off. <laughs> Meals are dropped off. And it's not bad. We put the we put the meals at the door right there. There you go. Early in the morning. I could be in Chicago where the whole city is locked down. Well, we're locked down here too, but and I got four eggs left. You only had four eggs left in Chicago. Bad shape. Not good. Bad shape. All right. Nice to see ya. Miss you too. Enjoy your lockdown. Quarantine. Come on, Sadie, let's go. Quarantine. Stay away. <laughs> and then there's another video. Take it together. Let's get to this next video. Look. I'm locked down. You're locked down. Well, we're keeping our distance. Love you anyway. Love strong. Walking and talking to yourself. Hey, say. <laughs> All right. To nice to see ya. All right. I think we might be able to walk, but only like six feet apart or something. I wouldn't chance it. I wouldn't chance it. You wouldn't chance it. Yes, you we'll see you later. Me and the girls are walking at three o'clock. We'll yeah, come get you. You can walk behind or in front. I don't know. Behind. Okay. Please. Okay, bye. All right. <clears throat> Any questions? What does self-loving in a relationship look like? What are some of, you know what, let's, I'm going to quiz you all. I'm going to quiz you all and I'm going to put a heart next to the people who do the arbitals. I want you to do your arbitals and I'm not going to tell you what the arbitals are. Those of you who are my knockouts and you watch me, you know what the arbitals are. So I want you to do your arbitals below. And for the people who do the arbitals, even if you don't, it, no matter how you do them, do them and I will heart your comment because I want to hear from you. I want you to dig deep and I want you to think about what it is that you heard in this video. Also, I'm going to ask you, what are some of the differences? You know, we talk a lot about hypergamy on this channel. We talk about that and it's being talked about on other channels as well. And there's this push for women to be able to get with men who have resources. And as you know, I mean, you know, I'm an author, you know, listen, let me just tell you right now. I have on no foundation, clean as a whistle. I have on no foundation. This is my flawless skin. I sell my vitamin E serum once a year. And this is the time of the year that I sell it. Ships out in May. And get your orders, get your pre-orders in now. I only sell this once a year. I sell in bulk and then I ship in bulk. So make sure that you get in on it so you know that I'm a lifetime entrepreneur. I believe in women having their own money. I believe in women getting with men who have money. However... I don't, I don't support the idea of going into a relationship with nothing. I don't support the idea of not being able to have your own and hold your own. Now you're going to do a little bit of, you're going to, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of whatever money making capability you have to maintain your fertility. And you're going to know that you're going to listen, you're going to invest in yourself. You're going to invest in your knowledge base, your travel, your, your experiences and really fulfilling, like fortifying yourself as a woman and as a human being. 
However, having your own is important because I asked you all, how do you think the situation would have gone down if Idris would have come in and his wife was like, listen, you've been traveling, you can't get in this bed. And she has no money, no ability, no anything. This is when picking a really good person comes into play. You don't just pick anybody who has money. You pick a person who truly cares about you and whose love for you is so profound that you don't have to jump through hoops and self-harm and behave and participate in self-destructive behaviors in order for them to be like, love you more. Notice you don't hear Oprah talking about, oh, I love Stedman more because he slept in the guest house. No, this was really an act of self-love, self-preservation. And you heard when he was outside that he was like, he, it's like he got it. He was like, you know what? I wouldn't even want to risk it. I wouldn't want to risk you. So you go ahead and you do what it is that you need to do. And I'll walk behind. That way, the aspirations and the fumes that may be coming out of his infected body stay behind them. And then the wind blows it away. Instead of walking in front, listen, Oprah, let him walk behind. Okay? Behind. Atras. Behind. That way, the fumes can be blown away in the wind. But you see, now listen. You know what? I'm going to keep this video short and I'm going to jump out of here because I really want to hear your thoughts. Make sure that you share this video. Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you give your comment below. I really want to hear from you. I want to hear your take on this. So listen, Tanya TKO and I'm out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? That's right. Love yourself. And part of loving yourself is advocating for yourself. Setting healthy boundaries. Treating other people with love because as you saw, she wasn't nasty about it. She was like, hey, I love you, you know, sweetheart, you know. However, she loves herself enough to be able to set that boundary and be like, I love you, but I will not allow you to kill me. I will not allow my, my health to be at risk because of actions that you will have taken. I can't tell you the number of women that I've had right to me who were in relationships with men who are cheating and they're asking me what it is that they should do. So you have a person who's going out there philandering, using their penis and bringing it home like a loaded weapon to you and you just cock open your legs and allow him to come inside. One woman even went so far as to talk about how she had caught a disease from the, her man already and then she forgave him, let him come back in, and then she found out that he was cheating again. And she's asking me, what should she do? And I'm like, what would self-love do? What do you think Tanya TKO would do? I mean, it's like, even if you don't know what it is that you should do for yourself, what do you think that I would do? And on that note, listen, set boundaries, love yourself, advocate for yourself and choose a good partner who is going to respect your boundaries as well. A partner who loves you enough coming in that your self-harm is not what they consider a professing of your love. Oh. On that note, let me get out of here. Make sure that you get my book on Amazon and do the, do the work, especially now that we're on lockdown. Order the book, do the work, do the affirmations. I've been doing mine nightly. And this is what keeps me in good spirits, keeps my energy up, keeps me continuing to put one foot in front of the other. And there's even a part in here for your eulogy. It's very deep, but it's something to really help you think about who it is that you are and how much you really want this life. How much you're really willing to invest and give into making sure that you have the life that you want. And on that note, I'm out. Peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list, send me a message, or find out more about matchmaking. I'll see you on the other side. Peace.